So I got this uh, box from Lottie Panda and it was sent by this company, dfrobot.com and I'm backer 4079. Let's see what's inside. Alright, in this one I have a Lottie Panda 4G 64 gigabytes acrylic case for Lottie Panda display some micro USB cable, HDMI cable, and a CDC adapter. So let's see what's in there. Alright. And it does show I have an HDMI cable. And it has the micro USB. There's the Latte Panda, and there's that adapter, the IPS display for Latte Panda, and the acrylic case. Okay, so this is the actual Latte Panda, and let's see what's inside. it out the whole case and it's what it's showing right here is actually what shows down here really cool and this is the actual computer that you attach to whatever you want all right and it's got different kinds of components to attach to. <clears throat> what else is in there? Yeah, it looks like a sort of a, I think that's what they said is an antenna for Wi-Fi. And of course they have just the paperwork. The same safety precaution, blah, 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 blah. So for the 7 inch IPS display, it came, comes in this box, let's see what's inside. stuff on it and when we connect it together we'll show you what it looks like and this is the acrylic case um, I'm guessing this is where you're gonna put in the where your latte panda is and it's pretty cool it's got some instructions how to assemble it kind of like Lego So, finally finished assembling the acrylic case. It was pretty interesting in how to connect them. But it's pretty nice inside the case. Nice and protected. And it's got some stuff there where you can press the power button and then there's also some connector like a reset somewhere right here right there and there's the power you see the power press that and there's also the reset right next to it Next one, we'll go and check and see how to connect it to a display. So here I am trying to get my pan latte panda to work. At the moment, it's um, having trouble booting up to the <clears throat> Windows 10. 
giving a recovery error so I'm gonna have to flash the BIOS and redo um, the image again uh, reinstall the Windows 10 so I'm waiting for my Windows 10 um, to extract to my USB and we'll wait until it happens and I'll let you know what happens next okay so I finished uploading the image file on the USB so now as you see as it's running to that and it's doing its re-imaging and then we'll see what happens after that stand by looks like my re-image finished so now it's starting to look like it's working so let's see what happens so it looks like it rebooted once already and it's doing it as it should and yay it looks like it's working and now there's another part where it's i'm already in so it looks like it's working now this is my first time actually getting into this setup so what i had to do was i had to reflash my bios and then i had to re-image the windows 10 again so this is where it came up to so we'll see on the next part what i can do on it all right looks like it's a success of what i did and now we're in business